Hi there, this is Mark Haddad here again. In this lecture, I have to speak about the controller. So we have finished uh, from the working on the router and on the switch. And now we have this access point we need really to configure that to provide wireless for the users. The access point by itself cannot do the work of the NAT and cannot do the work of the DHCP server. So that's why we have done it on the router behind of it. But it has to do some work which is about the wireless because we need to provide wireless to our users uh, inside our network so they can connect to the internet via wireless. Now we have seen in the previous section that if we go to the IP of this access point, we cannot do the configuration. So that's why we need to have a controller that we need to install it on our PC. And then we have to adopt this access point to that controller to be able to configure it. So as you can see here, we have a lab of seven points. But before I start doing those points, let me just explain to you what we need to do in this lab. And then we come back to the points and start doing them. So in this lab, what I need to do is to go to my PC here. This PC, remember, it is inside the layer two connectivity so we can see the access point so on this pc i need to install the controller the ubiquity controller and uh, once i have the uh, controller installed on this pc then what i can do the computer can see the access point and then i can adopt this access point to this controller so i can configure it so this is the whole idea so we need to find first the controller we get it from the website of ubiquity we download it and we install it and then we have to uh, go via the wizard to make the controller up and running and once the controller is up and running then in the upcoming uh, lecture i'm going to show you how we can adopt this access point to the controller now Someone can say, do we really need to put the controller on the PC? Well, this is one thing that you can do is to add the controller to your PC on your network. But also there are some other ways that you can use controllers, not on the PC, but some maybe on a dedicated device that uh, Ubiquiti provide, or maybe to put it on the cloud, that's possible. But because we are talking about a uh, beginner course, so that's a, just an entry level course about Ubiquity. So I'm, I have decided to just put it on the PC and to show you how you can do that. So this is what we are going to do in uh, this lab. Let's go back now to the points and start doing them. Point number one, go to Ubiquity website and download the controller for Windows. So I just put the picture here so you can follow what I'm doing. Actually, the picture, you should know it already because it's easy what we have. So. Uh, we go to the uh, controller here. Go, let's go first to Ubiquity uh, website. So ubiquityui.com. And from here to download the controller, you have to go to downloads. And then from the downloads, you can go to Unify. And from Unify, you have to, this is, we have the firmware. We don't want the firmware. Here is the software. And you can see Unify Network Controller for Windows. Unify network controller for Mac OS. And you have also Unify network controller for the Linux. So I'm using a Windows machine. So I'm gonna only download this one. So I just click on it. Let's go to Windows and you can just click on download. So now you just have to say I accept. And then you, this is the file and then you download it. To just win time, I have already downloaded uh, this file. So uh, I just uh, have to put it here. So you can see the file has been downloaded on my computer. And here we go. I just put it over here. So this is the Unify installer.exe. This is the file that we need to install as to be working on the controller on the PC. Point number one is done. Point number two, install the controller on your PC. And in case it asks for the Java to be installed, please install it. All right, so it's just very easy. We have to install it. So double click on it. And uh, now we got this. Uh, pop up here, welcome to Unify Setup. So yeah, it's a matter of next, next. Now, when I made install, it says this application requires Java. So in case you don't have uh, Java on your computer, then you need to download it. So you just say here, okay, and then it takes you to the Java website and then you just have to download it. And also, I don't have Java on my computer, so the, I have already downloaded the Java. So uh, also it's there. So uh, let's, let me bring it here. So this is the Java file, which uh, I have downloaded. And uh, the first thing you need to do now is to install Java. So just uh, let's install this one here. And it's a matter of uh, next, next. So uh, it uh, doesn't take too much of time. 
So let me just uh, pause the video until the Java is installed and then uh, we will continue. So here I'm back now uh, and the Java is still uh, installing. So uh, it took some time, maybe uh, maybe one, two minutes to have uh, the Java completely installed on your computer. But uh, now we have already successfully installed Java. So you can see it's successfully installed. So now we have to start again installing the uh, Ubiquiti network controller. So I will go again to it and then as Java is installed, it doesn't say here that you need to install Java and it will start installing the controller on your Windows PC. Okay, so let's uh, wait for this to be finished. And once it's finished, now this is what we need to see. It will say start unified control after installation. I'll keep this open and let's see what we need to do in the upcoming point. Point number two is done. We have installed Java and we have installed also the controller. Now give a name from the controller as home and agree on the terms and uh, of, the, of services then click next so we were here on uh, this uh, side so it was completing the installation now i will say start unify controller after installation so it will start then i'll click on finish and uh, now the controller should uh, open in a moment let's have a look so here we go you can see that uh, this controller has uh, showed up over here unify controller and it's saying initializing Unify controller. We have to wait a little bit uh, until this has been initialized. And then afterward, we have launch a browser to manage the network. Then uh, this will be enabled. We click on it and we can start working on uh, the wizards of the controller. So now we have this uh, ready. Now we click on launch a browser to manage the network. And directly it will take us to the, the uh, default browser, in my case is the Google Chrome. And I really prefer that you always use Google Chrome when you work with the uh, Ubiquiti product. Now you have a problem here, it says your connection is not private. That's because you have problem with the certificate of uh, Ubiquiti. So uh, what you can do, you can just click on advance and here you say proceed to local host unsafe. And you click on it and here we go. We have the controller showing up over here. Now they said that the controller name we have to name it home because I'm using this at home so you can put the name you want and you have to agree the uh, about the, the user license agreement and the terms of uh, service and then you say next. Point number three is done. Point number four put the Ubiquiti account and click next in case not available create one. So after we have put the controller name here it says sign in with your Ubiquiti account. So I already have an account on Ubiquiti. In case you don't have an account, you have to create one. So how to create one? You can just go here and write, for example, Ubiquiti account. So Ubiquiti account, and it would take you to this one, the account.ui.com. So you click on create an account, and then directly it takes you here. You can put here your first name, last name, you create username, password, email, and you register, then uh, you receive an email from Ubiquiti. You have to verify that uh, the uh, based on the email that you have received, you click on verify, and then your account will be ready. So in my case, I already have an account, so let me just put it here. And then I will say here, next. Now on step number three, it will say that uh, do you want to automatically optimize uh, your network? So it's by default enabled. So uh, that's uh, something you can keep it enabled. Of course, I'm not going to go in details about that because this will be explained in the more advanced course about the Unify wireless uh, ubiquity uh, network. So, uh, but that's uh, something you have to uh, think of like to optimize uh, the uh, network uh, that uh, Ubiquiti can do for you. And then the the point here, which is enable auto backup. So if you want that uh, to have a backup of your configuration to be automatic. So I will leave everything as it is now and I will leave it like this and I will say next. Then it will say here the devices set up. So which devices you want to set up, which devices you want to configure. They're saying here, do you want to configure this one, Unify, AC, AP, AC Lite. So this is really the one which uh, we have, okay? so. Uh, yeah, you can just click on it and like this and say, I want that one, but I would just leave it. I would say, I don't want now to say which the device I want to configure. I would just say next. Point number four is done. Point number five here is saying skip the Wi-Fi setup. So uh, over here, we have to configure the Wi-Fi. They say you want to put Wi-Fi name, the password, and you have to combine the two gigahertz or five gigahertz. That's something I want to do with separately later. So once I go to the controller, I adopt the access point. I want to configure that later. So what I need now here to say, I just say skip. 
Point number five is done. Point number six, they say put the right country and time zone. It's very important when you are on the last step, step number six, that you put the right country and on uh, the right time zone because based on that you will have the regulatory domain based on your country so for example when you are in a country maybe the uh, frequencies that are used on this country is different than the frequencies that are used on the other countries so in my case and same for the power so in my case i will here mention it is the netherlands that is my country and then the time zone here i will say also, it's important that you put the right time, Amsterdam. And uh, yeah, that's it. And now I will say finish. So now the controller is uh, making all the steps that you have put. It's uh, making it ready for you to, to get it. So you can see this is uh, how the Ubiquiti controller looks like. And uh, here you can say that if you want to send the diagnostics and users data to Ubiquiti, you can say send it or not. So I would say don't send it in my case. And yeah, that's it. So now we can see that this is uh, what we have now. And uh, and uh, yeah, now we need to start configuring the access point from the controller. Point number six is done. And uh, now point number seven, which is the last point, check if the Unify access point has been shown on the devices. So let's uh, go again to uh, here and uh, let's have a look. Now we can see from the control, this is uh, the dashboard here. So on the dashboard, we see that there is no any access point which is uh, provisioned to this controller. But if we go here to devices, okay, you just click on devices here, you can see that this access point, which has an IP 10.30.30.254, so this is really the unified access point that I have it on my network. It is there, but it is having pending adoption. So that means it's not yet adopted. You have now to adopt it. Actually, I have to adopt it to be able to be on adopted to that controller so I can configure it. And that's something I'm going to show it to you in the upcoming lecture. Point number seven is done. And uh, before I finish uh, this lecture, I just want to go and show you here a little bit about this uh, controller so we have here the dashboard and uh, on this dashboard you can see the uh, main things that you require to see okay something like uh, the uh, hardware that are you have here the number of client of wi-fi the guest you have here the wi-fi metrics also it will show up for you here and uh, you have uh, the wi-fi client so those things you can see them all on the dashboard now after that you can see the statistics and because we don't have now any uh, access point yet so we don't have statistics but also there is another reason that we discuss about it later now uh, the map was something we discuss about it also later here the devices is uh, the devices that you have the, as access point and in this case i only have one that needs to be adopted and uh, those are uh, here when we have clients connected to the wireless access point so that means like tablets or phone or pcs which are connected wirelessly you can see them over here and you can get some insight also here. Now, what is important here is this one, the settings. So from here, the settings, you can do the configuration of the access point. So from the controller, but not only that. So you can create sites. You can also do the DPI in case you have a USG, a Ubiquiti security gateway, which is a router in case you have it on uh, your network, you can have DPI. DPI means it will show for you the traffic that your customers are doing, the users which are inside your network. Like, uh, for example, uh, Facebook show you if you are, they are doing Facebook or YouTube or they are doing some browsing or, or, or. And also you can filter that. So that's really a very nice feature, DPI. But this doesn't work unless you have a uh, Ubiquiti Security Gateway Router, USG. And of course, this is outside the scope of this course, but maybe in the upcoming course, which is going to come after that one, then I may show you how to do that. Also, over here, you can create the guest control if you want to do, for example, uh, something like a hotspot. So that's also possible here, but also many other things. If you, for example, you want to create another uh, account for uh, uh, someone else to have access as admin to the controller, you can just create that over here. 
but again there are many more things that you can do over here of course in this course i'm not going to show everything what you can do i'm going to show you just the simple things and the basic things to be able to have your wireless access point the unify one providing internet via wireless to your end customers so this is uh, the whole things that we need to do now so the access point now has been seen in the controller but it's not yet adopted that means we cannot configure it yet so what we need to do we have to adopt it inside the, the controller and then we have to start configuring the access point okay so this is the whole idea of uh, this uh, lab uh, in the upcoming lab we have to adopt it and then we have to do the configuration so i hope that this lecture was informative for you and i will see you in the upcoming lecture